today I want to talk about uh, quick pass mode. And we'll work on this in class a little bit. So quick mask mode is a way that you can paint in your selection. You're going to use a paintbrush tool and a little uh, ruby lift mask. And wherever you paint, uh, we can choose for that to be our selection. So how we get the quick mask mode is we're going to go down to our toolbar. And right here underneath our colors, it says edit and quick mask mode. The keyboard shortcut is Q. So all you have to do is tap the Q key on your keyboard and it'll switch you over to quick mask mode. So I'm going to click this. And you'll see our colors now are black and white. So if we're painting with black, we will be painting in mask. We're painting on top of our object here. And if we paint with white, that's the equivalent of erasing in quick mask mode. Now I'm going to double click on quick mask button down here. And here are our quick mask options. So where I paint will be, uh, I can either choose for the painted area to be the mask area, or I can choose it to be the selected area. I'm, I like to paint where the selected area is, not the mask area. So if I paint here in on the apple and on the stick, that will be the selected area once I'm done. And the color that we're ch uh, we paint with will be this color. So I'm going to, since this is a red apple, I'm going to come over here, click on that little square, and I'm going to choose a really high intense green. And we want to be able to see through this green color through to our apple. So I'm going to change this. 50% will probably work, but I'll change this down to 35%. I'll hit OK. I'm going to turn it on, go back over here and click Quick Mask Mode, and then I need to go get my brush tool. So the keyboard shortcut for brush is B, so I'll tap the B key, and my brush is huge. So what is the quick way and the best way to change the size of our brush? It is not bracket keys, in my opinion. We're going to hold down control option and drag to the left. If I drag to the right, it increases, and you'll see a little update there in the black rectangle how big your brush is. So I'm going to take this down, or something like that. And then I'm going to change the softness a little bit. If I drag up and down, you'll see that my hardness in that little rectangle is changing, and my brush is getting softer. If I drag down, it's going to get harder. So I want this to be about, oh, 90, about 96%. And then you just start painting in here. And you'll see that my color was green, 35%. And I'm just going to kind of fill this in, change the size of my brush, and kind of rough, rough it in a little bit. And I cannot stress enough that when you're creating masks, you want to be zoomed in to at least 100%, if not more. Okay? We want to see our, what, we're, what we're masking in. And now all I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to start painting. And I'm going to use a technique where I just click. And then I'm just going to shift click in real small increments because I can't paint real smooth with a mouse. It's easier for me to just click straight line. sure I have zero spacing on my brush here so I get this all painted in. And the biggest problem that I see with students is just trying to mask at a small room level. And then they zoom in, they see that, well, they didn't get it very tight the first time. So 
Might as well get zoomed in. See your image. Try to get as nice of a mask as you possibly can. That's going to make a difference in your image. When painting with the brush tool, you want to make sure that your brush tool is 100% opacity and 100% flow. If you don't get this filled in at 100%, then you might get some areas that don't get um, masked out completely. that I painted. Now we could just hit the Q key to exit quick mask mode or we just click this button over here and there is the selection that is left. And we'll just simply create a layer map and bring our layers in here. So what I want to do is mask out everything but this selection. So on my layer, in my layers panel, I'll come down here to our mask button and we'll click it and you'll see now up here we have black hides and white reveal so we didn't erase anything all we did was hide our background and if I right click on it and say disable layer mask you'll see that our image comes back you can also shift click on this layer mask to disable it Alright, I think that's it on Quick Mask. Play with it and um, see how accurate you can get with your masks. Alright, see you later.